Do you like poached eggs? Do you hate making poached eggs? I know I do. It's, you gotta get the water boiling, you gotta put vinegar in it, you gotta get the little swirl happening, and then you put it in there and you have to drain it, and it's just a big hassle, and it takes time for just making eggs. So, and it's, it's also intensive because you gotta stand with it while you're making it. So, I have got the easiest way you will ever find to make poached eggs. Come on back and I'm going to show you how to do it in two minutes or less. Okay. I have a half a cup of water and I'm using a Pyrex dish because we're going to microwave it. If you got a bowl that's safe for the microwave, go for it. Otherwise, this might be your best bet. And I'm going to crack an egg. Right into the water. And then the number two egg is also going in the water. Now we got lucky, the yolks didn't break. I love that. Because it's better when the yolks don't break on this. So this will be excellent. Now, I have toast going in this toaster oven right over here to my right. And <clears throat> we're going to microwave this for a, it costs for a minute and 20. But I'm going to try a minute just to see what it looks like and then if I need to do more I will because I don't know how strong that microwave was that they were using so here we go okay it's in the microwave toast is in the oven now I need to get me a plate to put this on to eat so I'll be right back in just a minute with that. Uh, also, when you put stuff in the microwave that you want to cook, it, don't put it in the center. It's going to cook slower then. So you want to put it in the on the outer edges of it. And I have actually got a turntable in my microwave, so I don't have to turn it. It turns on its own. So, so just just a little tip there. Just keep your microwave. Keep it to the edges of the of the microwave and it'll cook better and that gets more of the power that the worst place is in the center. Alrighty, I got me a plate. I got my plate. Let me dry that off. That's just water that was on the Pyrex measuring cup, not egg. I was real good. I didn't get any egg on my wife's stove, even though I'm the one that does the cooking. It's her stove. It's her stove. And I, hey, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but in my house, a happy wife is a happy life. I'm gonna let it cook a little bit longer, maybe 10 or 15 seconds. I'll try 15 to see. And then we gotta find us a slotted spoon. Here's us a slotted spoon. And we're gonna get us a paper towel to dab it dry with. When we get it out. Now, okay. And we're just gonna let it sit for a minute also. Just let it sit right there for a minute. It'll just sit. That's what it looks like right now. But it's uh, it's cooked. It's just gonna sit to try and help with the cooking process a little bit, especially while the toast is still toasting. Okay. This toast is toasted. 
enough. I mean, it's, I don't want to dry it out. It's keto bread, so it'll dry out easy. And it's also not going to get browned up in a toaster oven real good. So I'll go with that. So uh, that's it. Uh, I'm going to take and put some salt and pepper on it when I put it on the toast. And then you can do the, we're going to take it out with a slotted spoon in just about a minute. All right. Let me come at it from this side here. We're going to let it kind of drip right here into this. Now we're going to let it dab dry there. Alrighty. I think she's ready to go on the toast. And there she is. I might, you might want it a little more cooked than that. I'm fine with it like that because I like a runny yolk. I'm going to get this cleaned up a little bit here because I want a good picture for my thumbnail. And we're going to get that. All right, so there you have it. A little salt and pepper. I know, that's not a little pepper. That's okay. But it will be a little salt because I'm going to eat this and not my wife who salts the salt. There it is. And you have yourself post eggs. And let's see, from the time I started this video, which included an intro, it's been six minutes, a little almost seven minutes. So cooking time was less than two minutes. Prep time didn't take much time at all. All I had to do was put a little water in there. You can make this, put it on, make yourself uh, some uh, eggs benedict, things like that. So there is one more little thing that we need. Let's see. Get a little yolk run in there. Get a little of that yolk porn, <laughs> so to speak. All righty. Well, I hope you'll give this a try. I'm telling you, it could not be more simpler. It is a great and easy recipe. So, till next time, this is Mike at Ketorific Journeys saying, hope y'all come back. And let's be careful out there. <laughs>